Oh, pretty red wings, I'm driving you home. Oh, pretty. <laughs> Do you ever think of becoming a professional singer? Oh, you're kidding. No, never. I'm so glad. Oh, pretty red wings, <laughs> I'm taking you home. Yeah. Oh, pretty red wings. What did you do with my sky? We interrupt this fine evening to bring you the following important message. It's time for bed. Well, Mr. Tanner, what are you suggesting? Uh, sleep. It's time to go to sleep. I'm tired. Naughty but nice. You know, I think that we can put a really nice glaze on this evening. Ah, but you have an annual report to give in Los Angeles in the morning, and oh, no, I no, have no, 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 a client at 7.30 in the morning. Well, what kind of client expects you to think at 7.30? Hmm. Talk about cost-effective. Mm -hmm. You have any breakfast meetings on Thursday? Nope. I'll be back Wednesday afternoon. Mm -hmm. I sure hope you're not always this sensible. Oh, I'm never sensible on Wednesdays. Sure, you haven't tried CPR. I just pumped more blood out of him. The guy is triple zero. He can't be. Come on, do something. You want a second opinion of your marksmanship? Your score. in my apartment. He chased me down here. He's about to shoot me. He could have shot anybody. It was a BB gun. Probably used to scare people away. Now listen, you had no way of knowing that. What's the matter with you? That's not your first one. Yeah, but this was different. Damn. Nobody ordered him to point a gun at you. Come on, I'll give you a ride home. No, that's all right. I'll, I'll be fine. Okay. I'll get your statement later. Dan, you didn't mean to kill him. Are you kidding? I shot exactly where I aimed. Well, you fired in self-defense. I fired without thinking. You're being the too hard on yourself. The blow away. 9417. Dan, you were protecting me. Yeah, that's a good excuse. Why don't you go on up to bed? Uh, we'll talk. You all right? Yeah. About Wednesday. Maybe I ought to call you when I get back. Whenever. Nelson called you, huh? Yep. <clears throat> Don't look.
look at me like that. You've seen me drink before. Not like this. Well, don't worry. I know my limit. I plan to exceed it. Would you like a little chemical disinhibitor? Excellent marinade for a festering conscience, I'm told. Do you have anything to cut it with, like an olive? One blabbermouth soup coming up. Just getting ready to clean it. So I always clean a piece after firing. It prevents rust, ensures accuracy. That's strength to that, huh? Dan. Dan. Sleep. It'll be easier in the morning. God, I hope so, B. I hope so. Good night. Copy of your statement. Let's find out the kid's name. Yeah, it's Patrick Murphy Klein. Any aliases? None. No record except a traffic ticket for parking in front of the YMCA. He had twenty-five thousand dollars worth of diamonds. That's right, in his YMCA bag. He got lucky. Some widow of an oil executive. What kind of kid belongs to the YMCA and burgles $25,000 in diamonds? A professional cat burglar. He probably played basketball to keep the strength up in his legs. Dan, let's face it. This kid didn't just happen in the harm's way. He lived there. With no record. Look, his lock tools were well worn. Maybe they were secondhand. I doubt it. This is gonna give you conscience trouble. What happens next time you have to squeeze one off? When other lives are on the line? Just wanna find out what kind of human being they killed. Dan, when one of my officers kills somebody, they talk to a psychiatrist, not the victim. Now, if you just sign that statement, you can take it to the assistant DA yourself. Ed St. John? He would like for you to drop in, and his name is Edward St. John. Don't call him Ed, or you might find yourself doing push-ups. Well, your statement seems close to the police report. Is there ever any doubt? Well, not in this office, but I have to be ready for the ACLU, Amnesty International, of course, the newspaper. Trigger happy P.I. blows away on our burglar, right? Well, there is yardage in that if Susan Klein wanted to push it. Klein have a wife and kids? An older sister sole survivor. You were completely justified, Tanner. No judge would clutter up the court system with this. If anything, he'd thank you for solving a bunch of small burglaries. You call $25,000 small? Well, you may do well to get away, huh? Take a little vacation. Yeah, I'd like that. Well, no problem. My office is leaving this right where it is. I hope you do, too. you called are you in the case not now i've got something coming up next week i need a few days surveillance who a private investigator named dan tana sure
Now, Miss Klein? Yes. Now, I've been trying to reach you at home. It's uh, regarding the investigation of your brother. It's about time someone looked into it. Grab a table outside. I'm just going off duty. Would you like something to drink? Uh, some ice tea be fun. Double shifts. Keeps my mind off. off my brother. Must be very difficult for you. Especially when you handle it alone. You don't have any other family? My parents died in a car accident when Pat was ten. I raised him from then on. I was mother and sister. When did your brother get his own apartment? About five years ago, after he got the job on the Baccarat table. Did you see much of him? I mean, aside from here. That kind of kid doesn't turn into a killer in 50 years. Even if he was a burglar, the penalty is two or three years. Not death. Did you uh, contact a lawyer? Oh, yeah. He said forget it. About what happened the other night. That must have been terrifying for Kathy. Uh, Daisy, can we uh, talk about this later? Oh, it's, I know, Dan. I know you had to shoot him. You blood freak! You murder my brother and come down here pretending to be a cop? You sleazy, murdering scum! Cards, please. Hi, Daniel. Can we talk about Pat Klein? You mean about the boy you had to shoot? It's going to be hard to be replaced. Is he a good man? Pat Klein, good? Arrow straight, reliable. The finest pair of hands I've ever seen in a long time. Our chips never walked on his shift. Of course not. The kid was a cat burglar. Maybe, Daniel, maybe. The kid was a charmer. He was one of the few dealers I know who got heavy tips. I mean, heavy tips. Bank win, seven over six. All bet stand, new banker. All set. Here we go again. Charge, please. Oh, I'd like another margarita, please. Salt the rim this time. Who's the lady in the show and tell dress? Mavis. Drops a lot occasionally. Looks like she can use some lessons. Only she can keep her nose out of the sauce long enough. And she's sober. She's way ahead of the odds. Eight speed, one more. Bank wins, nine over six. Heads down. Same banker. Cards, please. key to Mr. Klein's apartment. Why don't you tell the manager? I said I was giving him a surprise Tupperware party. Boy, this guy was a big-time burglar. He was a very small-time spender. Patrick M. Klein. This doesn't make any sense. Kind of know how Klein had in the ice I saw at that casino he could have afforded a penthouse. You think he picked his marks from the Baccarat table? Yeah, that's my hunch, Benz. What they dangled in front of him at the casino was only a sample of what they had at home. 
Hey, look at this. It's a bill for a rebuilt fuel pump, two hundred and eighty dollars. The import car clinic. Now, that doesn't make any sense either. His car was Detroit iron, a '64 Chevy. Maybe he had two cars. Hey. Maybe he had two apartments. Very good thought, Benz. Dana. Dan, where are you? I'm heading out to the import car clinic, B. No, you're headed to the DA's office for a chat with Edward St. John. Ah, a friendly chat? Well, the invitation sounded more like a bench warrant. Thanks, B. Now, Suzanne Klein was in here, and after she'd calmed down to a mild rage, she described a bizarre public disturbance created by the man who killed her brother. Look, I was just trying to find out... If you wanted to know if Pat Klein needed the bullet. Do you know where Klein worked? Oh, of course I do. Tana. Look, she thinks it's a cover-up. The police protecting their own kind. And if Suzanne Klein knocks on the right door and yells loud enough, there will be a full review. To satisfy the media. Correct. And it'll drag on and on, and of course, eventually you'll be cleared. But in the process, however, they may suspend your license. Several months. Now, you just might need a vacation, but I, I have three cases going to trial, three pending, and half a dozen in the works, and quite frankly, I don't need a new can of worms. Yes, well, then I guess I should uh, drop this whole thing. Yeah, it's your license. <laughs> Bridge night? Well, my neighbor's filling in. My wife will have to trump his aces tonight. Is that private investigator bothering you? Not anymore. Then to what do I owe the pleasure of this unscheduled visit? Honey, how thoroughly did you go through Klein's apartment? Thoroughly. All the drawers, letters, notepads, everything. Not even an address? Positive. There is nothing in that apartment to connect us. As a well-kept mistress, I am above this sort of thing, Edward. Do not expect me to do any more grubby sneaking around. Even if Klein has another apartment someplace. Why would he? Well, oh, perhaps because he doesn't want anyone to know the rather sizable amount of income he had. You know, dealers don't make that kind of money. He never even gave you a phone number, nothing? The only thing I ever got from Pat Klein was a deposit slip when he put the money in my account. Which, by the way, is very low with him very dead. Hmm. You know, honey, you're just going to have to stay away from the no limit tables and maybe find something else, like, uh, like winning. I do all right. One of the dealers said my biorhythms may be in a recession. <laughs> but certainly not tonight. Hmm. Hmm. Dinner's ready. Can I wait a while? Just as long as we want. Neil, I want you to run a quick check on a Nevada license plate. CGW388. A blue sedan. 
Guy's been following me the last couple of miles. CGW. How many are in the car? Uh, just the driver. He hardly fits. A real bone crusher type, if you know what I mean. I'll get right on it. Thanks, Pete. It was a crummy rebuilt. I had to replace it. Uh, I've been trying to call Rick. Rick? Uh, yeah, I don't know his last name, but he's married to SJ6. Uh, what does this Rick look like? About six feet tall, uh, straight brown hair. You know, he must be sick or something. Why is that? Well, his car's been ready for three days. He's usually breathing on me. Which one is that? Uh, it's the Green Jag, out back. Another way out of here? Yeah. for being kicked. Kicked? Mad? Oh, you're getting close. Look, it was unavoidable. Now, that's funny. There's only one person in town grieving over the death of Patrick Klein, and you can't avoid her. Now, you want to tell me what that was all about? Maybe I was off base there. You're damn right you were off base. Now, on one hand, you tell the assistant DA that you're laying out of it. Then you're right back into it. You come in here, bust up a garage, and have two units rolling. My phone is still smoking for St. John's call. Now, let me tell you something, old buddy. My office is taking a ton of heat over this because of your obsession with a dead burglar. A dead burglar owned a $30,000 Jag under an assumed name. What? And about the time I found that out, some no-neck rhino tried to take my head off. The only obsession I have is with staying alive. Why do you connect him to Klein? I don't know. I just get the feeling he's been sitting on me the last three or four days. Does this person have a face? Yes. A very large body, stronger than train smoke. Hmm. Well, there's a guy here from Arizona who's been around town for a while. He's an iron pumper. What's his line? He collects debts and closes accounts. Maybe you better take a run through the mug file and see what you can come up with. Yeah, I'll get cleaned up and come on down to Metro. If our friend St. Edward starts to get righteous, you tell him that Jag is registered to Rick Link. 1001 Palmyra Drive. The description fits Klein perfectly. Is that a positive ID? <clears throat> Rick Patrick L-I-N-K-E. It's an anagram. They rearrange the letters to get Klein. See you there. had another apartment. Here's the address. I'm trying to get a little sun. Well, you're going to go over there before Tana does. He knows about it? Yeah. So does Lieutenant Nelson. They're both busy little beavers here now. Here's the address. 1001 Palmyra Drive. Move it. Blue 
sedan you ask about? It was found abandoned. Vincent checked it out. The license plates were phony. What about the no-neck rhino who was driving it? Well, Nelson said he's not from our local zoo, but he'll be running it down. Okay, keep me posted, B. I will do. Now, where are you going to be? At Rick Link's apartment. Also known as Pat Klein. Right, 1001 Palmyra Drive. Tell Benzer to meet me there right away. Okay. Hi. Oh, hi. Dan wants you here right away. Come on, I just got back. You can't stay. <laughs> An LTR. An LTR. Live together relationship. My, my, you certainly carry your weight well for a size 12. Uh, Rick was just not a good influence. Too many carbohydrates. So you just came by to pick up your things, right? And maybe somebody else's things. Would you mind very much emptying your purse? A little. Would you mind if I scream? Hmm. Well, considering my license is hanging by a paper clip, I can see why. Yeah. Catch you later. You'll love my Doberman. investigations. B, any calls? No, any luck? Yeah, I found Klein's savings book. He's got deposits here of ten and twelve thousand dollars, lots of them. Then we got withdrawals of about half the amounts. Looks like he was splitting his take with somebody. Oh, I thought he worked alone. Yeah, he did. But see if you can find a bank account for a Mavis Graham in town somewhere. Mavis Graham. Okay, now where are you going to be if I need you? I'll be talking to our friendly neighborhood fence. Which one? Uh, Grabowski. Bye-bye. And I was having such a nice day. Pat Klein. Information is 411. Oh, I found the party I'm looking for. Casimir Grabowski, distributor of previously owned jewelry, purveyor of fine art. I was about to close. Just tell me who Klein split his take with. Klein? Casimir, 
A very nice old lady spent her life savings to purchase a Renoir sketch from you. Fake, of course. Can you prove that? Yes, I can prove it. Now, maybe I should invite Lieutenant Nelson down here. You could uh, sell him one of your sketches, huh? A woman did bring jewels in from time to time. Very sexy. Auburn hair. Bad lady for whom? I don't know. Someone with clout. Uh, this lady's name Mavis? I wouldn't know. She only came in when Klein couldn't. Uh, Casimir, don't close. That very nice old lady will be back very shortly for a full refund. Mavis is the connection, and that's all he has. Well, that's all he needs to put us in the shredder. Do you have someone to pull his plug? I do, and he's hot to do it, too. Talk to you later. We know that Pat Klein was consistent. All his victims were men, all Baccarat players. All right, he simply chose the ones wearing the most expensive jewelry. Hey. Oh, Dan. Here's a list of burglaries with similar MOs. B. Get a match on the dates? Yep, I checked them out. Bank deposits were made within a couple of days of the last burglaries. Uh, what about this uh, iron pumper who tried to give me a facelift? His name is Valeria Deseria. His sheet came in from Arizona. Reads like my blotter. You name it, he's done it. Yeah. Question is, who was paying him to try to crack heads, huh? I put that question out on the street. Maybe we'll get lucky. In the meantime, if you see him again, call a patrol unit. We'll pull him in for questioning. <clears throat> well, I promise you this. If I see him again, one of us is going to need an ambulance. Hold it. Why don't you call me and let us handle it, all right? Good idea. I'll see you later. All right. Ten investigations. Our man at Lake Mead. Vince, anything happening? Nah, not a thing. But well, what is she doing? She's just sunbathing. Boy, she good at sunbathing. Okay, listen, it's certain that Mavis Graham is Pat Klein's bag, lady, so... Dan, hang on a second. A car just pulled up. Look at that. Boy, you're not going to believe this. <laughs> well, try me. Take a guess at who's about to board the good ship Lollipop. Uh, Benz, I don't want to guess who. Come on, Dan, it's no fun if you don't take a guess. Benz, the reason you're out there is because I don't want to play guessing games. Okay, okay. Edward St. John. Isn't that something? The assistant district attorney. Someone with clout. Okay, Benz, keep an eye on him. I'll be right out. Great. Bring some sunscreen. Did you find out where Mavis Graham has her checking account? Uh, Washington State Bank. Okay, check the withdrawals from Pat Klein's passbook with the deposits in her checking account. Are you saying that some of the money went through her account? Exactly half. To St. John. Well, that's a weird situation. How's that work? Ordinary blackmail. St. John had evidence that could put Klein away. Well, then without Mavis, you don't even have a case. All you have are numbers and bank accounts. Bright girl. And pretty. If uh, Nelson calls... Like me. Right.
gun in the car. I said drop the gun. Why? You didn't have the guts for it last time. Address book belonging to Pat Klein. AKA Rick Link. Wow, good girl. Anyone see it? I bumped into Dan Tanner on the way out. <sighs> well, that's no problem. The son of Santana will soon be scratched from our list of worries. You're sure in the deep end of that stuff lately. It's therapeutic. Why? Maybe because of the way some things have been going lately. Now, there may be a little gap in our income for a while, but uh, we'll survive. Like Pat Klein? What happened to Pat Klein was an occupational hazard. He was a thief, practicing his profession, and he got a little hurt. He sure did. A big hurt. You know, I don't understand. All of a sudden, you're oozing concern for our dear departed cat burglar, who is probably holding out on us anyway. What's bugging you? Oh, what is it? Tana? Well, how long do you think it's going to be before he figures this out? It's not... Tana's that... out of it! Well, that sounds rather final. What do you mean by that? Well, it means that he's, um, he's, he's lost his license, leaving town. And taking a vow of silence? You said killers after Would him. Would you now just we're calm down? Murder! Calm down! Now, after all of this, we're in complete control. We're into blackmail. We're into murder. You've been drinking and your mouth needs a rest, Mavis. It's gotten to be a little tiring, Mavis. <laughs> What do you think you're doing, huh? Man, hey, Benz. Dan! Dan! Wait for me! Benz, where are they? Dan! He just slapped her into another time zone. Go. Where are we going? Hey, Dave, I need your boat. Sure, Dan, okay. We'll bring it right back.
good today. Yeah, so are you. We have reservations at 8 o'clock. We do? Yes, we do. Unless you have other plans. Oh, no, no, no. Hi. I just came from Lieutenant Nelson's office. Apparently, Pat's death affected you almost as much as it did me. Taking a life is not something to feel good about it, under any circumstance. Mr. Tanner, Pat was my brother, and I loved him. But he put himself in that position, not you. You did what you had to do. I just wanted you to know that's how I feel. Thank you. Drop by for coffee if you can. I promise you better service next time. And by the way, you don't have any breakfast meetings Thursday either. Well, did you ask me? No. I told her. <laughs> While I'm here, how about a lesson? Sure. Well, the first thing... No, you know, you're holding it all wrong. First thing you have to do is uh, relax and get the feel mm. of the thing. Yes, I can see that. Now keep your head down and... I think we're going to go on the tour together. <laughs>